Hello, my name is Teresa and in this video I'm gonna talk about the citation. We're gonna discuss why we cite, you're gonna learn what is a direct and indirect quote, what is bibliographic record and much more. Why do we cite? Citing your sources helps to avoid committing plagiarism in your writing. There is also a law that tells us that we must quote. Another reason why do we cite is it allows readers to locate our original sources in order to learn about the ideas that we include in our paper or thesis. And the last reason is that citation gives credibility to your paper or to your thesis. As you can see, in good citation, it's very easy for the reader to figure it out where is the original source. In the good citation, you can see who, what, where, how, and when was the original sources published. If you know all this information, finding the original source is an easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay. Now let's go over some basic terminology that we anchor in the citation. The first point is quotation. Quotation is a part of a text, image or another information take from another work or describing part of another work. We have quotation literal or paraphrase. Let's talk about it now. A literal citation means a literal or complete takeover of another author's original works. A literal quote is sometimes referred to as a direct quote. We use a direct quote when it's about some core underlying and fundamental ideas or some definitions that the author of the work wants to highlight and that are important for the rest of the work. Direct quote must be graphically distinguished from the original text. For example, here in our example, we're using quotation mark. Second type of quotation is a paraphrase or indirect quotation. Paraphrase is when we use someone else's idea in our own text in a different way, with use of different words. Paraphrasing involves reading a text, understanding it in some way, and then uh, expressing it in your own words. When paraphrasing, we must be careful to not copy the original text, but we must it express it in our own words. To every phrase, we must add a citation referring to bibliographic quotation to make it clear where the original idea comes from. There is no need to distinguish the indirect quote graphically from the rest of the text, as you can see at our example. Another point is a reference. Reference tells where the information comes from. It's also the connection between the quote and the bibliographic record. And the form depends on the citation standard uh, and citation style you should follow. We're going to talk about the citation style later. Bibliographic record is the reference at the end of the paper. Usually it contains detailed information about the source. Form is again defined by the citation style. You can also use bibliography as a list of sources that could enhance your knowledge. For example, if you're reading some very interesting article or some nice book, you might look to the bibliography for additional sources. Here you can see an example of direct quote. First, there is a reference, orange, that tells us who was claiming the thing then there is a green direct quote that's indicate by bracket. And finally, we have here an example of a bibliographic record which contains detailed information about the P 
copies that we quote. Requirements for citation is determined by the citation style. There is thousands of different citation styles, so there is no universal formula for how to put the citation together. As you can see in the picture, every style is little different. If you are interested in learning what citation style are used in the individual faculties of our university, you can click on the link below the video. There is the list of the citation requirements of our faculties. I would recommend you to use citation or reference manager software. It's very easy. You just download the bibliographic record from a database or a catalog and you can insert citation, uh, reference and uh, bibliography record into the text with just a few clicks. It is also the advantage that uh, citation manager can handle multiple styles and you can simply switch to a different citation style. But be careful when you're using Citation Manager, even a reference manager can make a mistake. There is always a need to check the citation truly. If you want to learn how to uh, use Citation Managers, watch our next video. Okay guys, that's it for me. If you have any question, just write us an email or write us a comment below the video. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.